Christopher Nunley. Christopher, how long is this snow going to stick around? The active weather pattern and the cool weather pattern, it's going to stick around into the weekend, but I have some good news in that seven day forecast, so you want to stick around for it. Nicer conditions over downtown Seattle right now. You can see we do have mostly cloudy skies, but there have been a few sun breaks here. Once we notice that uh, morning rain and snow work into the city, it's a little bit nicer out there right now, but in Everett, just to the north, stormier skies and the reason why we have an area of precipitation starting to develop. This is between shoreline and Everett, and this is falling in the form of a little bit of light rain and where we have some of those heavier cells, it's pulling down some of that colder air, so it's allowing for that brief light wintry mixture of rain and snow, not expecting any significant accumulations, especially on the roadways because temperatures are above freezing, but don't be surprised if you get under one of the heavier cells if you see a quick dusting on the grass and elevated surfaces. This area of precipitation also extending into the Kitsap Peninsula, uh, Peninsula, so it's possible that Bremerton, Silverdale, and Paulsbo also get in on some of that light rain snow mixture over the next hour or so. The band that brought that heavier snow to Wenatchee, North Bend, as well as Snoqualmie Pass, and this is what eventually worked its way into Seattle, Auburn. This dumped some of that snow a little bit earlier. It shifted to the south, and it was looking promising uh, for areas between Olympia and Tacoma, but it has since dissipated over the past hour or so. So not much activity is expected for Lakewood, Lacey or Olympia over the next hour as that precipitation has started to wind down. So that is some good news. Taking a look across the state, notice with that afternoon heating, even though it's cool, when you add in a little bit of sun, especially in mid-April, we're starting to see a few snow showers pop up for the Cascades as well as the Olympics. So if you do have to cross over the Cascades today, you want to make sure you check the latest past conditions. 39 degrees in Seattle, so temperatures are pretty chilly. chilly. The average high is in the upper 50s. We're not going to hit that this afternoon. Warmest temperatures are actually as you work your way toward the North Sound, where we have some areas in the mid to upper 40s at this hour. Good afternoon in Forks, 47 degrees, 43 in Bremerton, 45 degrees in Port Angeles. So the temperatures, they are chilly for everybody, and our temperatures eventually should climb into the upper 40s here in Seattle with a few sun breaks this afternoon, but there's also that chance for one or two afternoon showers, maybe even a thunderstorm for Seattle, and that's included in Everett as well. If you do get under one of those thunderstorms, it's possible it produces the heavy rain and the gusty winds, but maybe even some pea-sized hell. So we have a lot going on weather-wise, and that's going to stick around. System that's been causing the active weather here, it's over the Pacific Northwest right now moves off to the east, starts to weaken, but then we have another system that's going to develop Saturday just in time for the Sounders game versus Miami. That's going to bring some more active weather to our area beginning Saturday, really continuing throughout the day, but some good news. Look at this, this upper area of high pressure. This builds in over the west, and this is going to pump up into the Pacific Northwest on Sunday, and we're expecting the warmest day that we've seen for a while, just in time for Easter. Some areas are actually going to climb into the upper 50s by Sunday afternoon, so we have to get to the next couple of days on and off uh, showers throughout the afternoon hours, maybe a little bit of snow early tomorrow morning for the south sound into the southwest interior, but we do climb into the 50s tomorrow afternoon, and then we see that active day on Saturday with those temperatures rebounding by Sunday with highs in the upper 50s. Another system moves in just in time early next week, and taking a look at that Mariners game tomorrow, I think it's going to be an open roof. We're going to see the uh, sun breaks just in time for first pitch at 642 temperatures in the low 50s and we're eventually going to fall into the mid 40s. So you definitely want the jacket, but it doesn't look like it is going to rain.